All right, consider the equilibrium of hydrogen bromine making hydrogen bromide to a 20 liter flask. We're going to add 0.1 moles of H2 and 0.2 moles of HBr. And the equilibrium constant for that reaction is 989, and we want to calculate the number of moles of bromine in the flask when the equilibrium is established. Wow, that's a lot. All right, but we're going to do an ice table on this one. Now, even though I gave you moles in uh, concentration, we do want to make sure we calculate molarity, and that's what goes into our table. And so like on that first one, I'm going to take the 0.1 moles it gave and divide it by 20 to get that there's actually molarity of 0 0.005 for the hydrogen. And I'll put an M to stress that it's molarity. Nothing listed for the bromine, so I assume it's zero. And the HBr is exactly double, 0.2, but I am going to type it in. 0.2 divided by the 20 to see that that is 0 0.01 molar. Now, both of those are really three significant figures. I just left out the significant figures to make it easier to follow along. All right. Our change is going to be guided by that bromine. Since it's at zero, it must go up. Therefore, both of our reactants go up and the products go down. Oops, kind of negative 2x. So at equilibrium, this is going to be predicted to be 0 0.005 plus x. This will just be x, and this is going to be 0 0.01 minus 2x. All right, our Q for this equation has that HBr squared all over the H2 and the Br2. And at equilibrium, the Q becomes K, which is 989, which is going to be 0 0.01 minus 2x squared. Then we have 0 0.005 plus x, and then just x. And we're going to go ahead and solve this with our graphing calculator. So clear that out. And I'm going to put this equation in just like it says. So 0 0.01 minus 2x squared times 0 0.0005 plus x inverse times just x inverse. And now I'm going to move this over. So everything on the left is just 0, so minus 989. And if I did that right, this will graph and give me something. might not show anything, but it is working. And it's got something in there. Now I want to find the root. My possible root's got to be larger than 0. But the largest it can be would be dictated by this. So it can't be anything larger than 0 0.05. 0, 0, 0.005, because if it is, this term would become negative. So I'm going to calculate a 0 between 0 and 0 0.005. And I'll guess at 0. And it found an x at 1.998 times 10 negative fifth. All right, now this one wants us to figure out the moles of bromine. Well, I know the concentration of bromine is that X um, to only three significant figures. That's 2.00 times 10 to the negative fifth, but it's molarity and it wants a num number of moles. So I just need to multiply this by the volume to get the moles. So. Two, oh, got a clear out of that. Two times ten to the negative fifth times twenty moles is four point zero zero times ten to the negative fourth, and it would just be moles.